Hello guys, Godforge here. How are you doing? Today I would like to show you how to install Artemis ActiveMQ. Basically, it allows you to communicate your components, for example, microservices, in the asynchronous way. So there is no delay like in the request response pattern, which we are facing in the HTTP protocol. To get started, go to the activemq.apache.org and over here, click the download button. And I have selected this one, so the Apache Artemis uh, 2.11, and this is the zip file. So I have already downloaded it, so let's move on. So Artemis is on my disk, I have already unpacked it. And before proceeding, remember that you have to install Java and set the environment variables that is called Java Home to make it work. Let's navigate to the Apache Artemis directory. And also let's go to the bin directory because there is the exe file that we want to use. Okay, so we can clear it and now we can put the dot slash to execute the Artemis file and put the name Artemis. And now we can create our broker. But before we go, let's hit enter so we can check all the commands. And the one we are interested in is the create command over here that allow us to create a new broker instance. So let's create our new broker. We put dot slash, we type Artemis. We want to use command create. Now we have to specify the name of the broker. So let's say it will be Codeforge YouTube. You can pick whatever you want. Now we have to provide the user so we type dash dash user equals sign and let's use admin and the same for the password for dash dash password equals sign admin and we have to hit enter the broker is being created we can see it over here in the directory and also the, it is asking us for the anonymous access so we will say yes and after a few seconds, it should be created. It is done. We can see several commands in the console that will help us to start. I have tried to use first command, which is the run command, and it was not working on my Windows machine. But what have worked is installing the broker as the Windows service and this is what we will do. So let's clear the console. Now we have to navigate to the bin directory of our new broker. And as you can see over here, it is located in the bin directory of our Artemis instance. So we want to change directory to the code for YouTube broker and we want to navigate to the bin directory. Let's list the content of this directory and over here we can see the exe file Artemis service. Like in the instruction that we got after creating the broker, we want to say dot slash Artemis service exe and we want to install it. And after a few seconds, we got the access denied. This is because we have to use the console with the administrator rights. I have opened the console with the rights, so we put dot slash Artemis service. And now we want to install our service, so we type install. And after a few seconds, it has been installed. We can check the status using status command. And we can see it is installed, but it is stopped. So now we can start it. We put dot slash Artemis service start. And we can check the status again. And you can see that it's started. You can see that our service is working on the local host port 8161. And what we want to access is the management console. So we click over here and we are being redirected to the management console of the Artemis MQ. Over here, we want to pass credentials, which we have used during creation of our brokers. So it was 
username admin and password admin let's hit remember me checkbox and let's log in this is the web management console of the ActiveMQ or Artemis MQ and you can see that this is uh, empty right now we don't have any sessions consumer or producer so we have two uh, default queues and nothing more so yeah this is basically everything i wanted to show you we have installed artemis we have created the broker and also we have managed to start the broker as the windows service in the next videos i would like to show you how to create consumer and sender using java spring boot so stay tuned remember about liking my videos because it helps my content to be more popular and if you want to see more subscribe to my channel see you in the next video